Okay, so this is the transmission that I removed from the boat motor, my universal diesel M12 uh, from the Catalina 27 that I own. Uh, I've decided to put an electric motor in this boat. However, I'm really curious to see what's going on inside here, and I think if I can figure it out, it'll probably help my chances if I want to try to sell it, or perhaps if I sell the boat someday, I want to put this engine back in. Uh, with a new transmission or a rebuilt one. So I'm going to take it apart and see what I can find inside. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that the transmission fluid is drained. So it should be Seventeen millimeter, which I happen to have, but you'll need a larger set for that. All right, so this is the uh, place that you put the oil in. Is any measure? This is a lot harder when it's inside your boat, and this doesn't come out by finger. Okay, here we go. As you can see here, I'm just going to try to pour it in to this. There we go. Now there's approximately 500 the liters in here I think 550 and this Gatorade should hold, hmm, should hold all of it hopefully I think there's a lot more in there is the problem okay well assuming that I've only gotten part of that out I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use this paint can for this uh, paint tray that way, as I'm working on it, more stuff turns out, it'll be okay. So, I'm only going to do a little bit of this. Uh, it, it does say, I have the manual luckily, the hearth manual. Um, I do recommend that if you're going to go far into a transmission like this because there's certain parts of this that have to be heated um, in order to take some of the gears off the shaft inside there. Uh, you have to heat a part and cool another one, uh, so it's not going to go far into a transmission like this because there's certain parts of this that have to be heated um, in order to take some of the gears off the shaft inside there. Uh, you have to heat a part and cool another one, uh, so it's not uh, an intuitive approach. Uh, some of the things you definitely need to read directions. One of the one of the things I read is that this needs to be in neutral before you uh, attempt to separate this. And this transmission is, when I say separate, it's meant it's designed to be in two pieces. So, all right, looks like most of these are 13 millimeter, which I have. Right here. So, first I think I'm just gonna start with these plates, take those off. We'll see what that looks like. I already took one of them off. But this one I figured it would potentially leak fluid, transmission fluid from, so saving that. These are all in there pretty good. Okay, okay so take that off. Also, this is not something you'll leave around kids, especially in the Gatorade bottle. Looks like very thick Gatorade. All right, you'd think there would be, most of these, the harder would be off by now. Fortunately, there's still a lot more. Oh, little pieces off.
Move the shift lever, get that. That one out. Okay, so it turns out there was two bolts, one here and one on the opposite side that I missed. So now that those two are out, this comes apart. It's supposed to come apart. Ah, look at that. It came apart. And there is the transmission. Now, now since I have this piece in my hand, let's see if there's anything in there that would explain why we stopped. That moves. Looks pretty good. And that transmission fluid is stinky. So we can see the, that's the drain plug down there. This bearing is kind of coming apart. Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go. That is a piece of metal. Aha! Uh -huh. Piece of metal came out of that bearing. That bearing is totally shot. Wow, look at that. <laughs> but everything else looks totally good. So that's kind of cool. Alright, well, I'm not going to even mess with the rest of it because. That is a nice looking piece of uh, machinery. Cool. Pretty cool how it works too, you can see. This is uh, just like Lego Technic when I was growing up. This moves, sh sh selects between the forward and the reverse gear. That connects to the engine. So, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna pull that bearing out and then put this someplace <clears throat> where I can remember how to put it back together again.